This is about the Pope Paul the Sixth imposter. I don't know if you've heard about it or have peeped this um, Pope Paul the Sixth controversy that you can see right here. The deception of a century is one page where they have the person said I repeat brought forth an imposter where they have laid low Pope Paul the Sixth, your true father. It, it is the deception of the century, and then they ask the question, was Pope Paul the Sixth replaced by an actor? And then they say that one had determined that there were two popes living in the Vatican, Pope uh, Paul the Sixth, an imposter who had been made to resemble the one known as Montini. And then there's some additional, there's a YouTube page right here claiming that the Jews or the European Jews dominate the Vatican since 1878 and most of the popes, including Leo XIII through Pope uh, Paul VI, were are so-called Jews, or I think they say crypto. They use the terminology crypto Jews, like a lot of Jewish folks that say, oh, I'm a Catholic, and you're like, well, you're Jewish, and oh, I'm a Catholic, okay? Um, then they have some other pages down here, too. Let's just give you a, a scan of it now. The assassination, okay, that's the assassination of the Pope, the imposter Pope, and they said right here that there was a replacement Pope, and so forth. So now, why is all this important to us, especially in um, Rastafari? Because there was a particular Pope, the last Pope, that it appears that his imperial majesty met with, right? Now, they said this right here, Pope Paul the Sixth and the Imposter. Let, let, let's first show you the picture. Let us show you the images, and then we're going to show you the one that his majesty met with, and there's a video, actually, as well. Now, these are, this right here, these are the two popes. You know which one is the real pope and which one is the imposter, all right? And here's some other pictures, too. Right, these are some other pictures too of the same of the same one where they compare and analyze the peculiar um features of the of the two of the two popes. Right, and we could go to one of the pages that actually I think this page is a good page. This also is a good picture too. One of these is the real one and one of these is the imposter. Now you need to pay attention to some detail to really see who's who, who's the real pope and who's the imposter pope. Now, in a lot of pictures, both of them are called Pope Paul the Six. Pope Paul the Six, and some say that's six six six. Now, this connects with our teaching from the Shepherd of Hermes, and hopefully, by the time you get to check this out, you will have checked that part out right there. Um, the Shepherd of Hermes which is an ancient uh, Christian uh, um, hag hagogolia, or like uh, holy writing, in a sense. Um, not scripture in that sense of scripture, but holy writing. And there's been a lot of misquotations and misinterpretation and misrepresentation of the matter there concerning the beast and concerning the mark of the beast and what Hermes is said to have said, but Hermes actually said something different when you read it in context. And it's Gail Ripplinger who has written a book concerning King James Version and the New International Version of the Bible. Now, these are photographic comparisons right here of Pope Paul VI versus the imposter. The real Pope is the real Pope of this particular time, the real Pope Paul VI, is the one on your left hand, and the one on the right hand is the imposter. Now let's click this and bring the page up. This is the first page right here, um, the deception, the deception of the century. And you need to look this up, and this was actually written, notice the date, October 2nd, 1975. This is around that same 1974-75, a lot of conspiracies, a lot of crazy stuff was going on that really didn't really make a lot of sense then and was very confusing and bewildering then. But now we're able to put a lot of this into better context. Now, right here, 
there's a declaration. Um, this is allegedly according to Our Lady of the Roses, where it says, quote, I have warned you that there are three popes now in the city of Rome, uh, Villo, uh, Casaroli, and Benelli. They have, I repeat, brought forth an imposter. They brought forth, you see right there, an imposter while they have laid low Pope Paul VI, your true father. It is the deception of the century. Now, it is very interesting that Pope Paul VI, the real Pope, this man here, let's bring his picture up, he was the last Pope that his Imperial Majesty met with in Quirinale, um, not Vatican, but Quirinale in 1970. And we have the picture to share with you, um, um, this particular Pope right here. Um, meeting with his imperial majesty. Now, this is allegedly, according to Our Lady of the Roses, um, May 13th, uh, 1978, how I warned and warned that Satan would enter into the highest realms of the hierarchy in Rome. And um, uh, this is secret. The third secret, my child, is that Satan would enter into my son's, my son's church. Now, all this is connected with what happened to the true pope or maybe one of, the, one of the last maybe real popes of the Vatican and how he was replaced by an imposter. Satan, Lucifer, in human form entered into Rome in the year 1972. He cut off the rule, the role of the Holy Father, this man here, Pope Paul VI. Now, remember the dates. Let's keep the dates in mind. 1972, His Majesty would meet with this Pope in 1970. You understand? 1970. Now, it seems as though everyone that His Majesty would meet with, you understand, and would convince and persuade of the truth, something would happen to them. Kennedy gets assassinated. Kennedy gets shot.